Welcome to Secrets of the Stash. I'm Corey. This is my buddy Cameron. Sometimes Cameron says crazy things about movies that we just don't understand because we're gamers. So we've asked the community for questions for Cameron to answer about movies. Cameron, this week's question comes from Antonio Guillen. Can DC pull off the team up movies without developing characters in individual movies, a la Marvel's plan? Uh, I think so. Honestly, I, I've always had more. I'm more of a DC guy, so I always end up having more faith in DC than I do Marvel. Also, because in my opinion, after the Avengers movie, I think Marvel's like kind of been on a downhill spiral, and only like one out of every five movies I end up really liking it. But I remember hearing way back when, at least I was hoping that was going to be the plan. Was that I thought that'd be interesting to do, just basically do the same thing that Marvel did but backwards, where it would have been the Justice League movie came out, where you saw every character, but they weren't doing like introductions to everybody. It's kind of like, here they are. But then after the Justice League movie, there'd be individual movies where once their movie ends, it would be starting, it would like be, once the movie ends, it would be the beginning of what Justice League was. I thought that would have been a really interesting way of doing it. But I think just the way they're doing it now is going to be, pretty interesting in itself they're just you know they're introducing bat kind of introducing batman even though we all know who he is and know his backstory even though it looks like in the trailers of batman v superman they're still going to do like the whole flashback to his parents getting killed and stuff but the introduction of wonder woman i think that's technically going to be done the way that, that i was just speaking where it's going to be you'll see wonder woman and batman v superman but we won't know much about her until next year Whenever the Wonder Woman movie come, will come out, and it's going to be like during World War Two and stuff like that, when the Wonder Woman, when the Wonder Woman movie ends, it'll probably be like where Batman and Superman, Batman v Superman is going to be picking up. The rest of the movies, I don't, I really don't know where they're going to be going with them because there's really nothing on them yet. But I think, I think it's going to be fine the way they're doing it. I think Marvel was kind of like just covering their own ass with having to do individual movies for everybody just, be, just in case nobody knows who this character is. With DC, it's like, I think the way that they're going is, you know, it's, it's fine for what it's doing. And, and, and I honestly just want to wait and see where it's going to go. I kind of don't really have an issue with the way that they're going with it. So that's, that's my answer. Is that the question? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> I don't know. I still do see think. Whatever. We can get into that later. Thanks for watching this episode of Secrets of the Stash. Remember, you can find all of our content on digitalnerdadvocates.com or right here on our YouTube page. Please like, subscribe, and share. Leave a comment below. Let us know what you want to hear on Secrets of the Stash. And until next time.